and I've kind of been all, all along the range of thinking about, you know, homosexuality. First it was like I didn't even know it existed, really. I mean, I don't think growing up as a teenager, and I grew up in the church, I don't think it really occurred to me. Maybe I knew something, but it just was so far away. Yeah, like not and, yeah. and I, in high school I saw The Rose. Yeah. Have you ever seen that movie? <laughs> it's my favorite movie. Ever. You, know, you just like mentioned my favorite movie well, ever. But that was really the first time I'd ever. That was like so meant to be. Well, she, she ends up. <laughs> you don't understand how much he worships. Okay. Batman, 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 Batman. Like you that's just funny. like all of a sudden like I like forgot about this whole why we were here. <laughs> oh, let's talk about. Yeah. That. Okay. But I know you're talking about with, with Batman with the les with she has that lesbian lover. Oh, and that I scene. couldn't believe it. It was like she's not really. Doing what I think she's doing. No, she can't be. I must have missed that scene. Yeah. yeah. And this, see, I was 17. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's also is there's a scene where she's in the in a bathroom. And she's in, yeah she's no, she's in a gay bar. Yeah. She's in a gay oh, yeah. bar and they come out and they're doing drag and all the guys are gay yeah. and wow. And so and so this is my like I'm going. Ooh. What's happening? You know and. And then I went through the whole thing, well, there's just so few people that are gay that it doesn't really matter. And then, and then it was like, well, maybe people are gay because they were abused. That must be it. You know, I was like, mm. well, but they can probably change. And then I went through this whole thing where, you know, I, I really believe that they, they can't. They make, I've seen people make good faith efforts, really, what I consider it. And it just doesn't. It doesn't change. So then it was like, okay, and I, and I let it sit for a long time. And then I saw, I had to see for school. Um, we had to watch Torch Song, Torch Song Trilogy. And so it's only been really recently that I just made the transformation. Have you seen Torch Song no, Trilogy? No, it? it's fabulous. I love it. She made, yeah. me, out, she made me watch it. And what is I've it? I've seen it like three times. What is now. it? Isn't that, does that have something to do with the March of the, Fal uh, the Falsettos? Or? No. no, no, Harvey um, Harvey Firestein? Yeah. How do you say his last name? I've never been yeah. to sure. But you know who Whatever. I mean, right? right. Oh, uh, what is it about? It, it's it's semi-autobiographical of his life. And he wrote it, and it was on Broadway for a long time. Right. Um, I think it's still Getty played his mother. On, on the stage version, but in the movie it's um, Anne Bancroft. Yes. Does it, she does a really fabulous We'll have a movie too. night. No, I think work. you might want to see it because it really, it really changed me. And, the, and part of the, um, so the whole movie is about him and his relationships and, and working out, you know, how, how he's going to be and, and kind of the various relationships that he's been through. But, Kind of a thread that runs through the whole thing is his relationship with his mother, and she loves him and she can't accept it. She just she tries and she can't. And even to the end, she just even at the, even at the end. That's she, that's the yeah. like the last scene in the movie is this really poignant scene with his mother, where she just says, "I love you." You know, she comes to visit him in New York. She just got there and they get in this fight. She's just like, "I love you, but I can't." I don't know what to do, and she just leaves, and she leaves. it's yeah. very powerful. And, but, wow. he, but he says, I think he says to her in one of the scenes, now it'll make me cry, because it was when I got it, though. He said, all I've ever wanted is what you and Dad had. And I went, you know, and it seems so obvious and so simple, you know, to, and, 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 I, and I have to, you know, I'll express my embarrassment. I'm sorry I didn't get it before, but I get it now. You know, it was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> And how, how could I think that me, in some self-righteous place, never having had that experience, can turn around and say, you don't get to have a relationship. I do. But you don't, you know. And I real, and that's when it really hit me was the, the how wrong that was, the injustice of that. And so then I was able to say to Tommy, you know. Six months later. <laughs> just in time. It probably was about that time, you know. And how, did you, how did you tell her? How did that go um, out? Well, you know, I told you I was pretty much ready to come out in January, and sometimes it was bursting out of me, and I just wanted to tell everybody, because I was so cool with myself, and I was just like, there's no point in the facade anymore. But I wanted to tell my family before I told anyone else. So um, I booked some plane tickets and went home March 14th through the 16th. And um, I got to my mom's house and she was like, should I turn off the TV? You have to, have to oh, tell okay. the story, though. <laughs> when you call, because he called oh. me like a week before and said, I'm coming home. It wasn't even a week. 
Because yeah. I have no, no excuse to be coming home Okay, at so all. you live where right now? I'm sorry. In Watch, Ad Cortis. Yeah, and watches like... Oh, Seattle, Washington, Washington. Okay. Washington. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm just piecing it now. Right. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You told me when we came in, but... Okay, so... Right. Yeah. You can... Well, let me do... I'll tell that little part, because uh, he calls and says, I'm coming home for, for a weekend. I said, okay. I said, I've got something to tell you. Like, Is it bad? I don't think I said something in time. <laughs> I don't want to get myself... Oh, how did you say it? <laughs> no, you didn't say it. What did you say? I just said there's something I have to take care of and I have to be there myself. No, that is... You're right, right. And I said, is it bad? And he went, well, no. I said, well, is it good? He said, oh, it could be. It could be very good. But, um... I, I heard his voice, and I knew it was something significant. And, and what, what, what's going through your head, like, while he's saying this to you, though? Like, there, there's, you know? I, you yeah, know, did you have an inclination that that's what he was coming to tell you? You know, I, I didn't. Yeah. I, and, and we can talk about kind of what I knew when I knew. Yeah. And at some point, if you want. But um, yeah. uh, I couldn't. I was thinking, well, he has to go to jail for the weekend. I don't oh. <laughs> Why would he be coming back? Yeah, you look like... It was like, yeah, Tommy yeah, goes no, to jail. Really. No, 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 that couldn't be it. <laughs> I don't know Tommy well enough to... I was thinking, what could it be? Yeah. And, and everybody else was going, oh, I think maybe he's... Oh, so you then talked to the family. Well, because he had told them... My family thought it was the funnest game ever to try and figure out why I was coming home. I'm <laughs> engaged. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's what so many people thought it was. That's so funny. Yeah, but I heard his voice. I mean, I knew there was something big going on, and I just didn't really, in respect for Tommy, I didn't want to try to guess it. So, so how did you tell her? Well, <laughs> I got to her house, and I like brought her a little rose and everything, and, I was, mm -hmm. and she's like, so, she told me how skinny I was looking, and it was true, because I lost 15 pounds. like From what you are now? Yes. Down 15 pounds, which oh, Tommy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, I was really stressed my second semester at BYU. I mean, my hair was falling out. I didn't s fall asleep before 4 o'clock in the morning once for at least four months straight. Um, so I was very stressed. Um, it was really, I was like getting the flu and stuff. It was pretty bad on my body. But um, I got to her house and she asked me if she should turn off the TV and I said, yeah, and she said, I? and we sit down, and I said, yeah, she's like, so what's this about, and I was like, well, have you ever come across that quote that Boyd K. Packer gave in some coordinating council where he said the three most dangerous groups to the church are homosexuals, intellectuals, and feminists, and she's like, <laughs> she's like, no, but I can, I, the I, above. I, I can see him <laughs> saying that, yeah, and I was like, well, BYU has been really hard for me, because I, fit pretty strongly into all three of those categories. And then it was just sort of quiet. <laughs> she was like, oh, Tommy. And then we just had good talks. That's how I told her. Um, wow. Yeah. It's so, like, interesting um, how, I mean, like, because my own parents, it's such a fear, because they fear, because of their belief in what the afterlife is and of what the church teaches, they have this horrible fear of I think it's of losing me, I guess. Um, but it's so interesting to see my other gay Mormon friends that their families are totally cool with it and embracing and, and embrace their partner and all that stuff. And how their parents are like, then they realize the mother, when the mother finally realizes that it's actually better than it was before because it seems like mothers seem to if they have if you have a gay son you always have them as opposed to <laughs> it's like it's like you're no it's like that's there it seems like the gay son is always much more attentive and dutiful and With always checking in and they like love their mothers yep. and and so it's like it's like you almost have like this lifelong best friend relationship mm -hmm. with your mother 